Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with Mech Tech Keyboards and another transmission from Mechanical Keyboard World. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Akko 3084 B+. Um, this is a full setup that um, comes. It was uh, currently, it. I don't, I think the sale ended, but it went on sale. It's usually, I want to say $99 and this one was $69 I think it was much cheaper 20-30% off something like that uh, anyway it was in my cart I saw it but um, so I went ahead and picked it up I uh, only Akko boards I've really dealt with are the mod series the metal ones I'm trying to think um, yeah I don't think I have another Akko board so this is really truly my first um, Akko board, I believe. I have, I, mean, I love their switches, I love their keycaps, but actually this is technically, it, excluding the mod series and the fun I had with those, uh, I haven't had any of their non-mod series boards, so this would be the first one. So let's see what we got in the box. So we got some protection. Yeah, they didn't pack it this up too well, I don't know if you noticed, but had a couple tears. It was, there was like, I think two little air sacs and it's just sliding around in the box but that's neither here nor there well it got a nice little it's actually thicker plastic so it can be reused it's not just packaging that's always nice to see i'd like to see that more often honestly i mean dust covers it just helps to keyboard you keep your keyboard cleaner dust is in the air it will settle down if you're not using it may as well cover it all right so we've got a nice little um oh that's the uh bluetooth connector uh, are the uh, 2.4 gigahertz connector it's purple so let's uh, take a look at this so like I said I, I want to say it was either 69 or 79 but even at say 80 now a lot of people are gonna say but there's other keyboards yeah well they're bare bone uh, with this you are getting a well let's you know just take a quick look at it. I want to finish what's in the box and talk about this keyboard a little bit more. Uh, this is a very cool keycap set I actually have it uh, the pink and the black uh, ASA so it's it's very nice looking and you do get a um, like I said this one that, that was the 2.4 gigahertz connector so you do get a uh, wireless Bluetooth and um, 2.4 I believe so let's see what else we got here in the box I think we should have some extra keys uh, and I've yet to use the Aqua Cloud software again. Though I use a, uh, I use Linux. So, all right. So they got some extra keys if you want to add a little bit more punch of pink. So that's always a nice little addition. Um, and they have an OK cable. I mean, nothing special. It's got uh, one of these magnets uh, to prevent surge, I believe. Um, but and it's got a big fat. I mean. That's a, a big old fat connector. I mean, granted, the port is on the outside, so uh, whatever. Um, so put this stuff away. Like this, like that. You can get put away. And so can you. Now, one one of the gripes I have about any of these keyboards that have 2.4. Oh, I'll just. I like to throw my mice on the ground. Yeah. Makes them tougher. Uh, sometimes there's just not enough room. Anyway, um, yes, I would. I one. I would like to see either a universal 2.4 gig, gigahertz receiver, though I doubt that's going to happen because um, I doubt they agree on an open standard. Or if you're if you insist on being a you know having building a keyboard with 2.4 then give it a space to store um, the the dongle because uh, you know where else are you gonna put it uh, and having bought a few keyboards 
that have wireless. I have many dongles. I actually do have a box of dongles, but I'm not sure what keyboard it goes to. So I'd literally, I mean, I try to keep them in the box, but there's been times you know, I just have them and I find it. I'm like, oh, that goes to one of those keyboards. I'd have to literally plug it in and go through each of the keyboards that I don't have. You know, I don't know where the dongle is for it and try it to actually figure it out. Anyway, so this doesn't have that storage, but just taking a look at it, we've got the Akko logo. Um, the back of it, I thought it was going to be similar to um, to uh, other 84 percent like the EP84, but it's not. This is actually closer to the RK68 Plus or um, the, uh, oh, what's it called? The IFC? No. Uh, it's a function row keyless key. I can't remember the name of it right now, but um, the bottom of it is similar to that those than regular 84%. I'm a big fan of 84% uh, keyboards. Now this one, I do not believe, yeah, I don't believe this is a um, uh, gasket mounted board. So I'm just, uh, yeah, no, that's definitely not gasket mounted. There's no go. So it's, uh, it reminds me a little bit of, of, knob, of the novel key uh, NK65 with the lights right there on the edge, although obviously this is a bigger bigger setup but um, you go ahead and do a uh, I mean these are they're not awful but they could definitely use some tuning um, yeah I did want to check that out. that's that's I forgot which ones okay these yeah these come with the jelly uh, purple lavenders basically um, and of course it's hot swappable and we do have five pin compatibility and it looks like they're using um on their Akko series i know they have those blue colored hot swap sockets so and there does actually appear it could just be my eyes i'll definitely be taking it apart and inspecting it but almost like there is a little foam layer there it feels pretty hefty um in the hands um so out of the box already like I said once you consider the uh, 84 switches and basically an entire keycap set that's included you know this is not a bad deal um, the only thing though I wish I could say about these uh, keyboards that Akko is putting out with is that they really need to go to the QMK via route I can't run Aqua Cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and do a sound test, a proper sound test of this stock, and then we'll come back to it um, later on and do a full and proper review. But I just wanted to kind of get this out of the box. And, uh, you know, um, I know there's people interested in it. I believe they're going to have another sale because they have a whole mess load of keyboards that are coming out um, in the next few months, at least based on their, uh, their Twitter and their Discord. So uh, the other one that's really popular right now is the PCB75 uh, or PC75B uh, and that one's a quite popular one and the, the S version of that too. One's wired, one's not. But that would be an interesting one. That one is a gasket mount um, board that I think goes for 119 if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to wait till I see it on Amazon where I got this one where this one was on sale because Akko can take a long time to ship. Anyway, we're going to close this out with a sound test until the next time. Keep calm and keyboard on.